Oops, the high ground here. Wants to go back in after bottling up. Avoids the orb here, Dendi. Going to go back to safety to his tower. Bottles up as well. He's also very low on mana. Has an orb soonish, but that's easy. You can tell that both of these players play puck a lot too. Oh, he's going for this. Dendi's got a DD room, but he's on the low ground. He needs to get the high ground advantage and gets himself back to his tower. Artizi almost gets a kill there. He's battling against a double damage rune puck and comes out on top. Dendi's got to go back to base. His positioning is just so incredibly good, though. And now Dendi picking up boots in the stash. So this is kind of like the stand and fight build. You don't want to be the first person to run. Oh, just going to break the coil. Dendi's got max winning rift. Artizi could be in a lot of Oh, no. The He's still got magic six first blood, Dendi. GG. That's your GG. Game too, too many runes for Dendi, I think. That's the wor really what broke Artizi's back. And he had that really nice turn I didn't see that one coming, but in the end, Dendi does take it. He just was able to put out so much more pressure, and I think his skill build was, and item build was far superior. Yeah. I'm still not sure why Artizi went for a second null instead of a bottle, and I don't know why he didn't skill waiting rift. Second point in phase shift. I, uh, maybe a misclick? But again, brings out Tingos as soon as he can afford it, and they're trading Shadow Strikes here in the mid lane. They didn't dodge it, and neither of them did. Yeah. Dendi it's... might actually die very, very soon. Ooh, he's got a blink. Blink forward from Artizi. He's got the next right click. Dendi's done. No salve and a Tango. One more right click. Artizi. One minute, 33 seconds. The, that's the thing about 1v1. You, you mess up that badly that early. He was at 200 damage before he even got one creep, and then he just paid for his mistakes. Without the use of a salve, even with Shadow Strike, it's, it's too much. Over before the blink of an eye, that's some impressive stuff, but go to game 3, SF versus SF. This is a hero matchup, you'd probably say favors Arteezy. I would say this favors Arteezy, just slightly though. I mean, yeah. Denny's a pretty good, pretty good Shadow Fiend, but he just doesn't... going to start zoning at Arteezy. Artizi on the wrong side of his clip, they're going to go for a kill here, Dendi's going to immediately range here, but he's going to lose this right-click battle, Dendi's in trouble, he goes to the low ground, first blood, Arteezy, too easy. He takes it, knocks out Dendi. That was, that was a very aggressive play from Dendi. Walking up the opponent's hill is something that you don't see very often unless you're almost sure that you can go for a kill. And maybe he thought that he would hit one more raise, but unfortunately, one of the fan favorites, Dendi, has exited the 1v1 tournament. Hey, hey, all of these guys' fan favorites, whoever gets knocked out here, so... Big plays coming out from Artizi. I mean, that's the thing. He saw Dendi run at him. He hits like a, a medium range raise mm -hmm. just so that when Dendi gets in close, he's already low HP and makes sure that he can actually win that man fight. So.